Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math Practice Number 185. Okay, so today we're going to do some more binary subtraction. But we yesterday we saw this funny math joke. Yeah. There are one zero kinds of people in the world. Those who understand binary and those who don't. I get it. <laughs> do you get it? Yeah, one zero is two in binary. That's a pretty funny joke. All right. So All right. So we were well, actually, let's review, and then tomorrow we'll, we'll do subtraction with our blocks in binary. Yeah. Okay, so when we add in binary, let's say we have these digits are 1, 2, 4, and 8. And if we wanted to add, like, something like 1, 1, 0, plus uh, 1, 0, 1, we would get, what would we get? We get 2, 1, 1. 2, 1, 1. And you should, this over becomes a one zero, so this one's Okay, so, one. so this is, we can't have twos, right? Yeah. But two fours, this is what this represents, two fours, what, what does that equal? That equals one eight. One eight, so this, we turn this two and it becomes a one over here, and then there's no fours left, so we get one zero one one. So in other words, we've said that six, four plus two, mm -hmm. Plus five is eleven. Eleven. Yay. Yay. And that's why shifting our a two, turning a two into a one zero, uh, helps us add in binary. Now let's do subtraction. Okay, actually we can use the same numbers. Six minus uh, five. We would get one. We should get one. So let's see what happens. When we do subtraction, we get a zero. 1 minus, minus one. 1. Now, we can't have minus 1s. No. No. Minus 1s aren't, aren't good in binary. So what we do in, in to fix that is instead of shifting this way, which we did for adding, we're going to shift this way. We've got 1, 2 here. Yeah. Which is the same as 2, 1s. Yeah. So we can shift it over here and it becomes we get a zero here. We have no twos left, and we have two ones. Mm -hmm. And now we have two minus one, which it's is one. one. So we get zero, zero, one. And is six minus five equal to? Yeah. One? Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's do one example. So pick two numbers that you want to subtract. How about one, one, one minus three? Well, pick two numbers in base 10 that you want to subtract, and then we'll make them and then subtract them. How about 15? Seven. Um, actually, that will that's a that's good, but it's not going to be a good example for us. So do two more, uh, two other numbers. How about eight minus four? Eight minus four. Okay, good. So what is what's the number eight in binary? It's I think it's one zero zero zero. One zero zero zero. Great. And what's the number four in binary? One, zero, zero. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to subtract these now. And what do we get? We get one minus one. One minus one. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. And what, is this a good binary number? No. No. No, no, no. So, this, this one shifts over. One eight becomes two fours. One eight becomes two fours. I'll write it at the bottom because I didn't leave any room at the top. One eight is the same as two fours. So we get a zero here because we use these to make two fours. And how many fours do we have now? Now we have one four. Why do we have one four? Because it's two minus one, which is one. Two minus one, which is one. And then we get zero one zero zero. Which is 4. Hey, and is 8 minus 4 equal to 4? Yeah. All right, so there's our subtraction. Uh, and tomorrow we'll do it with the blocks. Yep. But here's the interesting thing. We already have, like, used yellow blocks for 1s, and what, were we using red blocks for zeros? Yeah. So we're going to need another kind of block, right, for our minus 1s? Yeah. Hmm. hmm. What should we use? How about blues? Blues? Okay. Awesome. All right. Good job, Kate, sweetie. Good job. Plus a binary joke today. Funny joke, right? Mm-hmm.